This is the CAT 7495, a machine with a total height of 21 meters and a payload capacity of 420 tons. This machine also has a dipper capacity of 40 to 80 cubic yards. However, we won't see how this one works today, but rather watch the process of disassembling this huge electric rope shovel. The process started by detaching the bucket and taking away the controller cab from the top. Then, the big arms are laid slowly by the two cranes you can see. Once that's done, the extra weights of the machine are pulled apart to finish the disassembling. This whole process had a total of 14 machines working with it. Another engineering feat is the 6060 and 6090 hydraulic shovel. It is a cat masterpiece propelled by a 3023 horsepower diesel engine that produces consistent power and torque, making it both quick and productive. The cat 6060's exceptional fuel efficiency effectively contributes to cheaper cost per ton or cubic meter driven by combining their low fuel consumption with a smart hydraulic system. Because the construction necessitates the use of smaller diameter boom cylinders, higher lifting rates are achieved. Komatsu D575A is a dozer engine that produces 1,150 horsepower, 860 kilowatts, and weighs roughly 157 tons. The machine itself is impressive in its super dozer variant, towering at 16 feet, 41 feet long, and equipped with a 24 foot wide dozer blade. It's undeniably magnificent as it can move 125 cubic yards of material in a single pass. Another cool addition is the Mezzo Loco Track LT220D Mobile Crusher, which incorporates a cone crusher with a screen on the same chassis. In a multi stage crushing process, it's often employed as a secondary and tertiary crushing plant to generate up to three calibrated end products. It's easy to transport between places thanks to its lightweight design. Both the crusher and the projector are powered by a single Caterpillar C13 diesel engine and the crusher obtains full power via hydraulic power transmission, leading to a reduction in fuel consumption and operational expenses. Would you believe that a machine is now capable of imitating how our eyes and mind process things? This is the Scania AXL Autonomous Truck, a vehicle designed to fulfill such futuristic demands. It has cameras, sensors, and radars that help the machine make decisions based on what it sees. 
Even when it's still in the development stage, it's already been shown promising results. Now the Scania group is just waiting for certain tests so they can introduce it to the public. These trailers can be synchronized with one another. This is done so that the operator can drive both of them simultaneously. It's powered by a 600 horsepower engine with a boom length of 320 feet high. Drilling tons and tons of mines is this versatile excavator beast called Bagger 288. Designed by Krupp, a German company for an energy and mining firm, Bagger 288 can excavate 240,000 tons of coal or 240,000 cubic meters of overburden in a day. This is equivalent to a soccer field that is dug 30 meters deep. After its completion in 1978, this excavator broke the world's record as the world's heaviest land vehicle. Coming up next is the Big Bud 747, the largest custom-made farm tractor in the world. Built in the state of Montana, this $100 million worth of tractor can easily farm three acres per minute. Imagine that! It has 1,100 horsepower and depending on the parameters, it's about twice the size of many of the largest production tractors globally. Big Bud is 27 feet long, spans 25 feet, and stands at 14 feet. This giant machine is able to hold a thousand gallons of fuel. Big Bud is truly a monster in its own right. Moving on, have you ever dreamt of owning a pickup truck that has four air-conditioned suites, a lounge room, a kitchen, a motorized tailgate, a terrace? Well, Arab billionaire Sheik Hamas made this dream into a reality. The truck, nicknamed the Sheik, is eight times bigger than its equivalent and weighs more than 50 tons. The truck, modeled from the Dodge Power Wagon, was also built to commemorate the 1950s oil boom that made the UAE and its citizens rich. The Dodge Power Wagon was one of the first vehicles used by the oil pioneers in the 1950s. What makes this behemoth of truck more impressive is that it only took a few months to build.
Another mammoth of a machine up next is Central Ohio Coal Company's Big Muskie. This humongous dragline excavator weighs around 200 tons, with a height as tall as a 22-story building. Like the other giant excavator mentioned earlier, it also held the record as the biggest single bucket digging machine on Earth. Under its belt, it also once held the world record for the largest land vehicle. This bucket alone could hold two Greyhound buses side by side. It took over 200,000 hours of work, constructed for about two years, and cost a whopping $25 million in 1969, which in today's money would amount to $174 million. This jumbo machine finally retired in 1999. clip on our list comes from a Gregor AG showing the demolition of an old structure. Not all buildings are made equally. While some are easy to mulch because they're made out of wood, others are simple to use explosives and detonate. Some projects simply can't be handled the same way and need specialized equipment. Here they use a set of claws to tear apart the reinforced concrete structure that makes up this building. Next up is the P&H L2350 loader, which holds the Guinness World Record for the largest earth mover. Its enormous bucket, measuring 53 cubic yards, can handle up to 80 tons of weight. This type was created primarily for filling haul trucks, those big dump trucks you've probably seen in photos. In a matter of minutes, it can fill one of them. It can elevate its bucket to a height of 24 feet when fully extended. Komatsu Limited actually now has an improved model available on the market with a capacity of 73 cubic yards.
At number three, we have the Eagle Mind Dynamic Compaction from the Menard Group. A crude yet effective device, it works the compact, loose soil with a crane and weight setup. It drops directly atop of the soil after lifting it dozens of feet into the air. Not too many moving parts, except for the large weight compressing the soil. At number two, we have a truly incredible piece of mining machinery, the PH 4100 Mining Shovel. Here it can be seen cutting out several tons of rock and dumping them onto an even larger dump truck to be taken off-site and processed. It is a heavy-duty process, and at this scale takes humongous pieces of machinery weighing several hundred tons apiece. the CAT 6090FS. This enormous machine is known to give the widest payload range that promises easier serviceability and greater productivity. Its standard bucket has a capacity of 37 to 55 meters cubed and a total bucket payload of 103 tons. It is powered by 2X Cummins QSK60, enabling it to produce a net power of 4,500 horsepower. Since the top priority of this machine is safety, productivity, and serviceability, manufacturers have added in a few useful features. The CAT 6090FS has a unique drive system that maintains a balanced combination of power and efficiency together with its new twin-engine concept, allowing it to stay up and running more consistently. If your concern is within its power, it is integrated with the trip power system that results in the machine's superb taking capability and bucket fill factors. Even when the energy used is maintained efficiently by the closed loop swing circuit, it has a relatively faster boom lift motion compared to others. All of its innovations and developments are brought by the CAT MindStar system and technology solutions for greater safety and productivity on site. Our next machine is the Road Printer from RP Systems. This is basically a device that allows the builders to lay out their designs in a much more efficient manner. By replacing the traditional blueprints, the Road Printers have greatly benefited its users.
Next up, we have the Vermeer Terrain Leveler. This heavy-duty machine cuts into the earth from a modified tractor and removes the upper layer of soil, flattening out the terrain. A jagged digging head is used to do so. At number 17, we have the Vermeer Compost Turner. As composting occurs, it is best to turn the compost in order to expose new dirt to the air to hasten the process. This machine does just that with a spinning set of tilling arms. For number 16 on our list, we have a soil cutter. These cutters are generally utilized at construction sites since they have dual opposed spinning heads. The muddy soil is ground up and moved to the surface, preparing a hole for piping, foundations, or other structures. After the hole is dug, they'll lower an I-beam to support the final structure. Number 15 on our list is the Chemrock Cutter Wheel shown in a number of different applications. This flexible instrument may be used to create the foundation for a variety of projects, from underground pipes to road repairs. The instrument quickly and effectively cuts through a wide range of materials. At number 14, we have the Rolba 500 Snowblower. This vehicle comes with a large and powerful snowblower at the front for making quick work of cutting snow. This is especially useful at places such as snow resorts where the small paths need to be cleared of snow for pedestrian travel.
Up next at number 13, we have the Liebherr Reach Stacker. This machine quickly handles the transport and handling of shipping containers at a shipyard. It's able to easily reach the tops of stacks of shipping containers and even behind the containers directly in front of it, making the removal of these containers fast and simple. It can take these containers and offload them onto truck trailers or train beds for long distance transport. Our ninth machine is the Drum Cutter by Epirco. The spinning set of teeth makes quick work of hard clay, rock, and concrete, which is turned to easy-to-remove debris. It's useful in applications from the preparation of lands for projects to demolition, making it useful at a multitude of sites. In eighth place on our list is a diamond mower stump grinder. When a tree is cut down or is broken down from harsh weather or otherwise having rotten and fallen, a stump of course remains. Stumps not only take away from the aesthetics of a space, but can get in the way of buildings and even planting new trees. Thus a stump remover like this one can be employed. It eases the spinning saw with specialized teeth in a similar way to some of the other machines that we've seen on this list cutting away the material to completely remove the offender. At number 12 we have the Chip Spreader from Vimpo. This machine is used to lay gravel on top of freshly laid tar for roadways. It receives gravel from a truck bed and distributes it to the front using a unique feeding mechanism. This procedure is part of road maintenance in some regions, though it's not employed in every country. For our 11th machine, we have the Tezmec Bucket Wheel Digging Machine. The name truly fits a product with what is a wheel of bucket-like scoops that cut the soil and dispense it out the side. This is effective at rapid and precise trench creation in soft to moderately hard soils and comes in a variety of different forms.
At number 10, we have the Cobelco Demolition Device. During the destruction of a structure, this equipment uses a sophisticated hydraulic claw to cut through steel and concrete. When compared to disassembly by hand, this set of pincers can pull apart a building piece by piece, making construction removal a snap. Just make sure you don't get a parent's arm hooked in there. Up next is a cutter attachment for an excavator from Chemrock. This, like some of the other devices that we've seen on our list, employs a spinning blade. This one is being used for cutting into stone walls. Cutting into a wall like this could be for a variety of purposes, such as embedding structural supports. Sometimes it can be for planting explosives so that the wall can be detonated and removed. At number 5 we have the Colmar Rail Shearing Machine. This device uses hydraulic shears to cut railroad tracks into correct lengths. Incredibly powerful clamps use shear cutting force to essentially snap any piece of track in two. At number 4 we have the Ponce Harvester collecting wood on a tree farm. This machine is an all-in-one device working to not only cut down the tree but shave its branches, cut it into logs and prepare it in stacks. It's a collection of chainsaws and wheels that makes quick work of a target tree.
The following clip is from the next wrencher. Displaying a powerful trenching machine, this gadget is attached to a specialized tractor with a big spinning mining belt that functions similarly to a chainsaw. This chainsaw-like belt is adjustable, allowing it to be driven into the ground and dug up to a significant depth. The soil is dug out of the side neatly into a mound as it digs. This comes in handy while installing pipe foundations and other underground infrastructure. The first clip comes from Argus Recycling, showing an absolutely massive and mobile shredder. They use this shredder to dispose of old and worn out or otherwise wrecked vehicles that are no longer usable. The shredder, of course, disintegrates whatever is put inside, then outputs a pile of debris ready to be recycled. It can be incredibly satisfying to watch the shredder take in the chunks of metal and plastic and turn them into tiny pieces. The giant machine you're currently watching is the Komatsu D575A Super Bulldozer. With 1150 horsepower coming from its beast of an engine, it can carry 90 cubic yards of load. It's also quite a capable digging machine. Usually it is employed on surface mines and coal fields, moving heavy loads to their destinations.
Another one from Schleppner is the DB120 transport system. This series is built to help level up on-site mobility for tracked equipment. This is known to deliver fast loading, agile transporting, reliable braking, and sufficient ground clearance. During the whole operation, drills and dozers use up to 15% of their working hours traveling on tracks. But with this transport solution, traveling time is cut up to 85%, making it possible to finish one cycle of transportation in just an hour. This has been reported to increase productivity and give more effective working hours. Since it's also a smaller fleet, maintenance costs and equipment purchase budget are also relatively lower. In fact, this promises to give 20% less maintenance labor hours too. Now, let's go to the Load Quip SW450, a type of low loader designed to reduce operating costs while increasing machine utilization on mine sites. Can you believe that? Thanks to its multiple brakes and innovative swing wheel technology, this low loader no longer has to deal with issues other heavy duty transport trailers have to face. Now, operators no longer have to worry about equalization systems failing, tire scrape during turning, and not even variable retardation. Aside from that, the load platform can now be lowered to the ground, too, without needing much help from the operator. All of these incredible features allow even just one person to finish the entire loading procedure in just 10 minutes. Truly impressive! Did you know that the process of large cargo transportation needs to undergo a series of approval first before it gets started? Well, since heavy duty machines are about to carry heavy loads too, their weight and how the whole operation will go needs to be checked first. If not, damages to the road or other safety issues might occur. However, in Australia, super loads are actually transported easily since their highways often remain vacant. In this clip, you'll see how they use the cargo system from NHH hauling to transport this water tank. The Panther Series 2 was designed and developed to aid in the mining industry, and it's certain to deliver safe and productive operations. This low loader range is equipped to meet all of their customers' needs, with safety and ease of operation as top priorities. The payload capacities of these loaders range from 80,000 kilograms to 1 million kilograms, and they can even be configured to work best with specific earth moving and mining equipment and adapt well in even the harshest mining site conditions. It also has a hydraulic system to help lower the trailer site to the ground and raise it when loaded. As a result, when moving, there is more ground clearance. Up next, we have the CAT 797F. This is part of the CAT 797 series on off-highway ultra-class two-axle mechanical powertrain haul trucks. Trucks from this series are specifically made to withstand and exceed the great demands of high production mining and heavy construction applications worldwide. Ever since 1998, this series has been producing the largest, highest capacity haul trucks. However, the current third-generation model 797F is considered as one of the largest haul trucks in the world. It offers a total payload capacity of up to 400 short tons 
which is the highest payload capacity among mechanical drive haul trucks? If what you're looking for is a higher payload capacity, then the best choice for you would be the Balaz factory, known to have the highest one in the whole world. Their product line expands from a groundbreaking collection of mining dump trucks, cross-country dump trucks, loaders, bulldozers, and vehicles from metallurgical works. Here in Balaz factory, every vehicle released needs to go through a series of tests to make sure that they are in the state of perfection as they're being delivered. Moreover, they also have different vehicles for different situations, such as cement mixers, electric carts, and compactors. But rest assured that all of the machines from them have quality and excellent performance. We have the Lieber Assembling. The company Lieber is known for having machinery that includes mining equipment, earth moving equipment, material handling equipment, concrete technology, and maritime cranes, plus other heavy hitting machinery. In addition, piling and drilling rigs, mobile and crawler cranes, tower cranes, aerospace and transportation systems are also included. This is the world's third largest semi-submersible crane vessel known as the Sapum 7000. This crane is able to lift up to 14,000 tons. It was designed to serve as a multi-purpose offshore oil platform installation vessel capable of installing very large oil production platform decks. One of its projects is giving support to the offshore completion of the platform by providing hotel and workshop facilities for large construction crews. Thanks to its size and semi-submersible form, this machine can work excellently even when faced with challenging weather conditions.
This is how the Liberty 264 mining truck is assembled. Since it has a weight of 240 tons, around 10 technicians and engineers worked for 12 days just so they could put this together. But all their efforts were worth it because this has high power 213 kilowatt and an engine with an efficient electronic AC drive system. In this clip, you'll see how the Lieber demonstrates its power just by lifting a small crane. Thanks to the perfectly balanced cranes, it has heavy weights that can actually raise a 764 ton crane. Compared to excavators in the same line, the Tesmac SPA Rock Hog is a more cost-effective and multi-purpose. Aside from that, it also has the unfractured rock excavated by Tesmac Rock Hog. This offers a reduced number of machines, increases efficiency, safety, and costs for maneuvering and servicing. Aside from its laser navigation, remote monitoring, and control, the Eparoc Mobile Miner 55V is the perfect machine for tunnel extensions. Through its automatic rock cutting mechanism, its 17-inch disc cutter can handle materials and can move vertically or horizontally easily. Truly an effective way to boost productivity levels. With the TTI Group's two intercombine trailers, the trailers now have the functionality of both a modular trailer and an SPMT. On top of that, it can also function as both when needed. The total weight of their load was 132 tons, had a length of 7.1 meters, and a width of 6.6 .6 meters, and a height of 5.4 meters. After traveling through a 269 kilometer long path, 
they have successfully delivered the loads to the Hale Braun Harbor. Valor Logistics accepted the task of safely shipping these reclaimer machine parts. This is the 15th component of a reclaimer machine, as well as the heaviest component due to its 208-ton weight. Valor Logistics must deliver this without harm and in a safe manner. The objective was only 7 kilometers away, but due to the nature and difficulty of the operation, as well as other obstacles encounter, they were only able to accomplish it after 8 months. They used the best mobile bridge systems available for this project, which is why it only took them two years to complete all of the machine's components at the assembly sites. Now we have the Slefner machine, a very powerful, precise, and effective machine you must see. For modular trailers or SPMTs, they have axles that can be controlled separately by a remote. In this way, the operators have an easier way of doing things. It has 22 axles and on each of them are 8 wheels. This is connected to the carried excavator heading to the mining sites. Here's another wonderful machine from Mammoths.
Felbermere GmbH was charged with transporting a 200-ton polio plant. This is for the principal products in the plastics production plant being built by the Hungarian Oil and Gas Corporation, MOL. This will take you to a location 170 kilometers northeast of Budapest. This mechanism is supposed to transport the cargo from the crane to its destination. To prevent any hassles or issues, they've decided to employ marine routes instead of land routes. The project was completed in just five months thanks to their efforts and the capabilities of this 18-line SPMT. Transporting it from one location to another has been a difficult task due to its weight. As a result, the national group has opted to simply remove its wheels prior to loading. Once that it's determined, it is transported using a road rail propelled by two heavy vehicles. To ensure greater safety, not just for the people surrounding it, but also for the operators, the police escorted this machine throughout its journey. The Mamouette was tasked to transport this 200-meter-long and 5,100-ton heavy airport bridge structure. The destination was only 3.5 kilometers away, but the load had to always be at 14.3 meters high, which makes things more challenging. One wrong move, and it can turn into an accident. Overall, it took nearly 10 days for Mamouette to this project. For some fields like petrochemical, marine engineering, and nuclear power industry to work, crawler cranes that can carry more than 2,000 tons are required. Good thing we have the SANI SCC-40,000A, a crawler crane with 4,000 ton capacity and can lift 2,000 tons to a height of 100 meters. SANI engineered this crawler crane to be a robust hoisting solution for the engineering industry. Aside from its lifting capacity, it also has a 120 meter long twin lattice boom and a double crawler track unit instead of a wheeled superlift counterweight wagon. It's one of the 10 crawler cranes exceeding 3,000 tons capacity produced in China. The SANI SCC-40,000A also uses a superlift counterweight trolley and a walking system with four crawlers and eight drives.
In lifting heavy materials, project sites usually look for machines with excellent strength and precision. A perfect example is the Mamoet Lieber LR13000. This crawler crane is able to keep its impressive stability and mobility because it's mounted on an undercarriage with a pair of caterpillar tracks. It also comes with adjustable boom length, backmast, and counterweight to meet varying needs of the site. Aside from its stability, the Lieber LR13000 is also impressive in terms of its strength since it can carry loads ranging from 60 to 3,000 tons. Indeed, a machine ideal for diverse lifting requirements. That's it for today. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell so you can get notified whenever we post new videos. Till next time, thank you for watching.